Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, so in this video, we will start talking about the uh, Node Console API, and this time we will dive into the console.assert function. We'll see uh, how it behaves. So what does the function do? The function will check this value to verify whether it's true fee or falsy. And more specifically, if it is a falsy value, it will stop the execution of the program. That's how it is currently implemented in Node.js. So the falsy values that are in JavaScript are uh, these values that uh, you see here. So false is zero, an empty string, null, undefined, and NAN. What that means is if you do a bool check for these values, uh, you will always get false. So if zero will result to false. So if empty string will result to false and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, call the con console.assert function on uh, some of these values and see how it will behave. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this for false. Let's see what we got. All right, so what it's telling us is there is an assertion error. Uh, we asserted that false would be true, but it is not, so the execution of the program stops. All right, so that's how it will behave. Now, if you provide an additional uh, argument here, that will contain a message. And uh, let's print the message the value. Okay, let's put it in between quotes. Let's just do some interpolation here. Uh, what value do we want to put? FA is falsy. Okay. All right, so let's see what we get. Okay, so the value false is falsy. All right, let's try zero. What happens with zero? Now zero is a falsy value, so we should be getting the same message. Okay, the value zero is falsy. Okay, and well, is what we can do. Let's print something here, for example, and see if the execution of, of the program actually stopped. If the event loop doesn't just end there. All right, let's uh, print something. Oh, but boom. Boom, baby. How about that? All right. Let's see. Ah, it did stop. Okay. All right, so this is where I call node. And it stopped at this line here. Because, uh, uh, there you go. Line 10. All right, so it didn't get to the rest of the program because uh, our recession is false. All right, so what if we give it true? Hmm? What will happen? Okay, we assert it true. It is true. It should let the program go. Let's the program go, so we get our print statement. All right, so let's try one more. Uh, not defined, for example. Okay, all right, let's do that and see what happens. Essentially the same. It's telling us that the undefined value is a falsy value. Okay, so how does this uh, program work? It's if you provide it with a falsy value check, it will stop the execution of the program and tell you that your, the assertion you made was false. All right, and if you provide it with a true value, it will let let the program continue. You can give it a custom message, uh, which is what uh, the second argument is. You provide that, and uh, that's the message you're gonna get in the console. And if you provide additional arguments, I know we didn't uh, check this out. Let's try and do that right now. What it will do is simply print it after the message that you gave it. So let's say we want to say. Uh, Bye. Hmm? How about that? You can say bye here. All you're gonna get is the bye after the message. And whatever other arguments you provide, that's what's gonna happen. It will just print them one after another after the message there. 
All right, so this is the video, guys. This is console.assert. You can uh, pretty much uh, sort of uh, put checks in your program uh, uh, to make sure you're not getting values you don't expect. All right, uh, please go ahead and subscribe uh, to this uh, channel. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, making these videos about the uh, console API and uh, additional topics in Node. Um, I, I also have a bunch of videos on C Sharp and a few videos on C++. Uh, uh, go ahead and check those out if you program, if you'd like to learn programming in these languages. Um, go ahead and like this video if you like it, and if you've got questions, please put them in the comment section, and uh, I will respond. All right, I'll see you in the next uh, videos.